In this video, I want to show you how to automate the Chrome browser with a script. This is especially useful for performing small repetitive tasks. In this example I will use it to automatically follow everyone on Instagram who meets the specified criteria, with minimal posts, minimal followers, minimal following, or whether it's private account or not. The action delayed by random intervals to make it look like normal user activity. You can download the complete ready-to-use script from the URL in the description and you should watch this video until the end so you can understand how it works. Welcome to Newbie Computers Channel. After you download, extract and load it into Chrome or Edge browser. Go to Chrome extensions in your browser. Ensure that the developer mode checkbox in the top right hand. Click Load Unpacked Extension to pop up a file selection dialog and select your directory. If the extension is valid, it'll be loaded up and active right away. Ensure that the enabled box next to your Chrome extension is checked. Now go to Instagram page, make sure you're logged in. Reload the page to make sure the extension is loaded properly. Min is the minimal interval between actions in seconds. Max is the maximal interval in seconds. Limit is the max accounts to follow, if we reached this number, the action will be stopped. If you want to follow private account then you should check the follow private account checkbox. Posts is minimal posts of account to follow, if the post count of the account is less than this value then the account will be ignored. The same applies to the number of followers and following. Click Start button, reload the page if nothing happen. The script will start working according to a predetermined random interval. On each comment on the post, it will try to hover over the account name of the comment owner, a pop-up window will appear containing detailed data from the account such as the number of posts, the number of followers, the number of following and whether it is a private account or not. This data will be used as a reference whether to follow this account or not. It will only follow accounts that meet predefined conditions, and if all comments have been checked, it will automatically return to the start page and will go to the next post. And so on until there are no more posts or up to three times not finding posts that have been commented on by other accounts. This script is also limited to a time limit for each section of around 10 minutes, if it reaches that time limit then it will force to reload the page to get new posts that may exist.
As you can see, the script stops at a predetermined number. Let's see if the number of our following has increased by 10 according to what we set earlier. The number of initial following is 55, the number of following is now 65, meaning that the script has worked as we expected. The first thing to do is search for posts from the Instagram start page. Right click on the post section box and click inspect to bring up the developer console. It can be seen that each post is delimited by an element tag with the name article, we will look for this tag as a post section marker. So if one day the script stops working, maybe the layout of Instagram has changed, you need to check this section, adjust it to the changes, especially the tag name and class name for the tag. Then we check whether the post has a comment, if there is, inspect the link from the comment to find the data element. We will simulate this element with a mouse click to display detailed posts along with comments from the post. In the post details dialog box, we look for one of the usernames in the list of existing comments. Inspect to get the detail element data. The same method is needed to get the data on the number of posts, the number of followers, the number of followings and whether it is a private account or not, the difference is that you have to hover over the username of the comment to bring up the pop-up details of that user. Look at the check follow function, in the user's pop-up tag element, find the button element, then compare the text on the button with follow to make sure that the button is the button we are looking for. Next we find all span elements, iterate one by one, take the re label attribute from the span element, compare it with the text private account to make sure the account is private or not. Then take the text from the span, compare it with the following text, if so, take the text from the child elements to get the number of following. Use parse flow to convert from text to numbers. Use the same method to find the number of posts and the number of followers. With the data that we have got, we will check whether the data meets the criteria to be followed or not. This code checks if the account is private, and if the follow private option is not set, the account will be ignored. This part of the code will check the number of posts, followers and following of the account whether it meets the criteria as specified. Next, if all the conditions are met, the script will call the click function on the follow button found at the beginning of the check follow code. So, that's a little explanation about how this script works, so you can modify it if one day this script doesn't work anymore because of a layout change on Instagram. Or even if you want to add new functions you need, you are free to modify the inject.js script. If you encounter a problem or you have a question, please leave a comment. Thank you for watching this video, hopefully it can be useful.